What's up guys, Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another top 4 male tryhard outfit video using clothing glitches. So the first outfit right here is going to be one of Arson Y's outfits. I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be the first outfit I'm going to show you how to make in this video. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into the outfits. For the first outfit, whenever you do get to the clothing store, you're going to want to walk over here to the front counter. Once you are here at the front counter, scroll down until you find the heist uh, tactical stealth which is right here on slot 20 so click on heist tactical stealth after you do that go ahead and scroll down to the pincer and once you do find the pincer outfit go ahead and equip that outfit after you do equip that outfit you're going to want to go ahead and back out head over here to your accessories and whenever you do get to your accessories scroll down to scarfs click on scarfs and equip the tan desert scarf which is on slot 4 after you do equip that scarf you can now back out scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the black tactical gloves, which is on slot 72. After you do equip the black tactical gloves, you can now back out of your accessories, head over here to your tops again, and whenever you do get to your tops vest, which is on slot 53, click on utility vest, and you're just gonna be looking for the peach plate carrier, which should be right here on slot 43. So just equip the peach plate carrier. After you did equip the peach plate carrier, you can now back out of your tops, take off any accessories that your character has, like head accessories, or if your character has a parachute, go ahead and take that off. And now after you did that, you can head over here and you're just gonna wanna go up to the front counter and save this outfit on slot one. After you do save this outfit on slot one or slot 20, you're now gonna wanna go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits and scroll down until you find the heist coveralls which will be on slot 13. So click on heist coveralls and you're gonna wanna scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and select one of these outfits with a toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask, you can now back out of the front counter and you're gonna wanna head to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch. When you do get to the telescope that's on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You should see that your character's mask does come off. So pull up your interaction menu scroll down to style and scroll down to your outfit and go ahead and select the outfit you just saved on slot one or slot 20. After you do select that outfit, you're now gonna wanna go ahead and just walk away from the telescope and you should see that the toxic mask does transfer over to your outfit just like that. And this is where your outfit should look like so far. And now you're gonna wanna go ahead and just head to the gun store so we can save this outfit. When you are at the gun store, just walk over here to the clothing section and you're just going to want to hit your edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. And once you have saved the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, you can now back out of the tops and you're just going to want to go and start up the job that's called a titan of a job. So go ahead and hit pause, scroll to online, hit jobs, scroll down to play job, scroll down to rockstar created and scroll down to missions. And once you find missions, click on missions and scroll down until you find the job that's called a titan of a job and just fully start up that job. When you load into the Titan of a Job mission, you should see that your outfit does not wear the utility vest anymore, the Peach Plate Carrier. So it should only be your outfit with the Toxic Mask. If your character is still wearing the Peach Plate Carrier, then that means you guys did something wrong. So if you guys, uh, for some reason, don't have a Toxic Mask whenever you load in, but you have the Peach Plate Carrier, that means you have to transfer the, the Toxic Mask over to your outfit why you guys are wearing the utility vest and then start Titan of a job. And then you should see whenever you load in, the utility top is not there or the utility vest. And so now, whenever you are in the job, just head over here to your tops, go ahead and hit your edit saved outfits and save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. After you have saved the outfit on one of those slots, you can now just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. After you have loaded back into a public session, go ahead and run back inside the gun store and you're just gonna wanna walk over here to the outfits which will be on the left side or which will be on the right side. So if you guys walk over here, you guys will see it says tops. If you guys walk over here on the right side, it'll say outfits. So go ahead and head over here to the outfits. Scroll down to the diamond casino heist, which is on slot 50. Click on the diamond casino heist. Scroll down to the group A sex gear, which is on slot 20. And you're gonna wanna go ahead and look for an outfit that has the walkie talkie belt on it, just like you guys can see here on this outfit. So just go ahead and select one. If you guys don't see that you guys have these unlocked, that means you guys will have to do the diamond casino heist while wearing these outfits. So if you guys do have the outfits, then just go ahead and equip one. If you guys don't, go ahead and wear this outfit while doing the diamond casino heist, and then you'll unlock this outfit. After you do equip this outfit on your character, 
go ahead and back out of the outfits and you're gonna wanna go ahead and head to your apartment so we can do the new merge glitch. When you do get to your apartment, you guys are just going to want to go ahead and go to your heist planning boardroom. After you are in your heist planning boardroom, go ahead and go up to your heist planning board and you're going to want to go ahead and start the first heist that's called the Fleeka job. It should be the first out of the five. So go ahead and start the Fleeka job. And after you do start the Fleeka job, the first job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called scope out. So after you do the scope out mission, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called the Karuma job. So Whenever you guys do get to the Karuma, you're going to want to go ahead and start up that job. Once you did load into the Karuma job, you guys will ha you guys can have a friend or a random join you, it doesn't matter. But after you are in here, make sure your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits. After your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits and someone has joined, you can just launch the job. Whenever you load into here, if you did save your outfit on slot 1, scroll one time to the right, or if you did save your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left, and this is what your outfit should look like, so now just hit ready to play. After you do load into the job, you can just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. Whenever you load back into a public session, you're going to want to go ahead and grab a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's a civilian vehicle or your personal vehicle. Once you do get a vehicle, go ahead and hop inside that vehicle. After you hop inside the car, pull up your interaction menu and you're going to want to join a CEO or an MC. So once you do join a CEO or an MC, pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO or motorcycle club, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, and you're going to want to go ahead and scroll one time to the left and then scroll one time to the right back to none. And once you have done that, hop out of the car and you should see that the belt does transfer over to the outfit just like this. And now to finish this outfit, you will want to head to the mask store. I did mess up and say go to the mask store, but you're going to want to go ahead and go to the clothing store so we can buy certain goggles. So go over here to the glasses, scroll down to sports glasses, and you're going to be looking for the, uh, you're going to be looking for the, or the mono outlaw goggles, which is on slot 13. So you're going to want to go ahead and buy those goggles. After you do buy those goggles, go ahead and back out of the glasses, and we're going to go ahead and equip a parachute. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, set it to on, and make sure it's set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, go ahead and go to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go up to parachute, go to parachute bags, and just buy the black combat shoe bag. After you do buy the black combat shoe bag, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to parachute, make sure you set it to on, and it should be the black combat shoe bag. And now, once you do have the parachute on and you do have the goggles, now we're going to go ahead and head to the mask store. When you are at the mask store, go ahead and walk over here to the hats, scroll down to the bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and you're going to want to go ahead and buy the black bulletproof helmet. If you already do have the black bulletproof helmet, you don't have to equip the helmet, but if you don't have the helmet, go ahead and buy the helmet. Once you do have the helmet, go ahead and back out, walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19, and you're going to be looking for the charcoal toggle ski, which will be right here on slot 94. So you're going to want to go ahead and buy or equip the charcoal toggle ski, which is on slot 94. After you have equipped that mask, now we're going to go into the telescope glitch so then we can combine the mask and helmet and goggles. When you have found a telescope, you're just going to want to go into the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character's mask comes off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. Once you do find the black bulletproof, then you can just walk away from the telescope and you should see that the mask does combine with the helmet just like this. Now you're going to want to go ahead and do the telescope glitch again. And whenever you do the telescope glitch again, you should see that your mask and helmet come off together. So now pull up your interaction menu up again, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the mono outlaw goggles. And just like the same thing with the, with the mask and helmet, once you do find the mono outlaw goggles, you can walk away from the telescope and you should see that the glasses or goggles combine together with the mask and helmet just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So this is what Arf Arson Y's outfit looks like, except he has the cuffs and the cop rank logo 
on the side of his uh, utility top, which you can't get because I think that is a save wizard thing that you guys can do if you're on PlayStation, but I'm on Xbox, so I can't really do save wizard. So this is what your outfit looks like whenever you're done. So now you can just go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on the second outfit. This is gonna be the second outfit I'm gonna show you guys on how to make. So it's gonna be this blue outfit with the black joggers. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on how to get the black joggers. First, on how to get the black joggers, you're gonna to wanna to go and do the MOC job. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to services, scroll down to your MOC, click on MOC, and just request your mobile operation center. After you do request your MOC, hit pause, look for your MOC on the map, and you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and head to your MOC. Once you do get to your MOC, go to the back of your MOC, and you're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and start up that job. So I'll just go back to you once I do get to my MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. Now that you do have the black joggers, I'm going to go ahead and show you on how to make this outfit. For this outfit, head over here to your tops once you are back at the clothing store, and you're going to be looking for sports sweaters, which will be right here on slot 41. Click on sports sweaters and just equip the blue bigness jersey, which is on slot 29. After you do equip that sports sweater back out of your tops, you already do have black joggers, so you don't have to worry about the pants. Head over here to your accessories. Scroll down to gloves, go ahead and click on gloves, and you're going to be looking for the black woolen gloves, which is on slot 58. After you do equip those gloves, go ahead and back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to skate shoes, which is on slot 3, and look for the blue skate shoes, which is on slot 7. And after you do have those blue skate shoes equipped on your character, back out of the shoes, head over here to your hats, scroll down to the combat helmets, which will be on slot 22, click on combat helmets, and just equip the black quad lens, which is on slot 45. After you have equipped the black quad lens, go ahead and back out. And for the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your parachute, and just make sure your parachute is set to on, and just equip the black combat shoe bag. And after you guys have the black combat shoe bag, for this outfit, you will just want to head to the mask store. After you get to the mask store, you're going to want to walk over here to your mask and scroll down until you do find headscarves, which will be right here on slot 15. Click on headscarves and just equip the Jolly Rogers Wrapped, which is on slot 38. So after you have equipped the Jolly Roger Wrapped, 
go ahead and back out of your mask. Your thermal helmet will come off. So now we're gonna go into the telescope glitch so then we can combine the mask and helmet. Once you are near your telescope, just go into the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black quad lens. When you do find the black quad lens, then you can just put away your interaction menu and walk away from the telescope. And once you walk away from the telescope, you should see that the mask does combine with the helmet just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on the third outfit. This is gonna be the third outfit I'm gonna show you how to make. For this outfit, head over here to your tops. Whenever you do get to your tops, scroll down until you do find t-shirts, which will be right here on slot 23. Click on t-shirts, and you're gonna be looking for the black t-shirt, which is on slot 23. After you do equip the black t-shirt, back out of your t-shirts and scroll up to overcoats which will be on slot 17 so click on overcoats and you're going to be looking for the black wool coat which is on slot 63. After you do equip the black wool coat and you do have those tops you can now back out of your tops head over here to your pants. Whenever you are at the pants just click on jeans which will be on the first slot. After you click on jeans look for the midnight camo fitted which are on slot 41. After you do equip the midnight camo fitted back out of your pants head over here to your accessories, go ahead and scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the white cotton gloves, which are on slot 53. After you do equip the white cotton gloves, you can now back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to sneakers, which is on slot two, click on sneakers, and you're gonna be looking for the white studded sneakers, which are on slot 36. After you do equip the white studded sneakers, back out of your shoes, head over here to your hats, Scroll down to Bulletproof Helmets, which is on slot 19. Click on Bulletproof Helmets and just equip the black Bulletproof. After you do equip the black Bulletproof, you can now back out. And for the parachute, pull up your interaction menu. Scroll down to Style. Scroll down to Parachute. Make sure your parachute is set to On. And make sure your bag is set to the black combat shoe bag. And it should look like this. And so now, for the rest of this outfit, you will want to head to the mask store. When you are at the mask store, just walk over here to the mask, go ahead and scroll down until you do find crime, which will be right here on slot 9. So go ahead and click on crime, and you're going to be looking for the white t-shirt mask, which is on slot 55. After you do equip the white t-shirt mask, then you can go ahead and back out. And now we're going to go ahead and do the telescope glitch so then we can combine the mask and helmet. When you are near a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So you're going to want to go ahead and just run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. And whenever you do find the black bulletproof, you can now walk away from the telescope, and you should see that the mask and helmet do combine together just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go ahead and go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want, and now we're going to go ahead and work on the fourth outfit. Okay guys, this will be the final outfit I'm going to show you how to make in today's video. So this is going to be another one of Arson Y's outfits. So for this outfit, whenever you are back at the clothing store, head over here to your tops. Whenever you, whenever you do get to your tops, go ahead and scroll down until you do find designer t-shirts, which will be right here on slot 29. Click on designer t-shirts, and you're going to be looking for the VDG skeleton t-shirt which will be on slot 13 so you're going to want to go ahead and buy that t-shirt after you do buy that t-shirt go ahead and back out of designer t-shirts and scroll down or maybe up yeah scroll down until you do find sweaters which will be right here on slot 39 so click on sweaters and you're going to and you're going to be looking for the black sweater which is on slot 5 so go ahead and equip the black sweater after you do equip the black sweater you can now back into your tops and just walk over here to your pants. Whenever you do get to the pants, click on jeans, which is on slot one, and just equip the midnight camo fitted, which is on slot 41. After you do equip the midnight camo fitted, back out of the pants, head over here to your accessories. After you get to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, go ahead and click on gloves, and just equip the black driving gloves, which are on slot 62. After you do equip those gloves, go ahead and back out of your accessories, head over here to your 
head over here to your shoes, scroll down to skate shoes, which is on slot three, click on skate shoes, and just equip the slate skate shoes, which are on slot four. After you do equip the slate skate shoes, back out of your shoes, head over here to your hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and just equip the black bulletproof. After you do equip the black bulletproof, now we're gonna go ahead and transfer over the skeleton logo over to the sweater. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just head to your apartment. Whenever you do get to your apartment, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go to your closet and just hit right on your D-pad to change your clothes. Whenever you are here, scroll down to your tops, scroll down until you do find designer t-shirts, which will be right here. Uh, it might be on a different slot for you, but for me, it's on slot 32. So click on designer t-shirts once you have found it and look for the, uh, the VDG skeleton t-shirt. After you have found the VDG skeleton t-shirt, don't select it, just hover over it. After you are hovering over the skeleton t-shirt, you're gonna wanna go and hit pause, scroll to online, scroll down to, you can either join one of your friends if one of your friends is online, or if you don't have any friends online, go ahead and you can just join someone off of your crew, or you can join a friend's crew. So go ahead and click on crews, and you can either go to your crew, or you can go to just any, like a suggested crew, a friend's crew, or if someone has invited you to a crew, and you can just go to view players or uh, view crew members, and you can just join off of one of them. But once you have found someone that you can just join off of, go ahead and find their profile, and it should see once you click on their profile, it says join game. So go ahead and just join their game. And whenever you load back in, you should see that the skeleton transfers over to the sweater, uh, just like that. And you guys can see, once you do load back into a session, you should see that the logo does transfer over to the sweater, just like this. And now, for the rest of this outfit, you will just want to go ahead and head back to the clothing store so we can buy the glasses for this outfit. When you get to the clothing store, just head over here to the glasses, scroll down to uh, gun range glasses, click on gun range glasses, and just buy the orange guns, which is on slot 11. After you do buy the orange guns and you have them equipped on your character, go ahead and back out back out of the glasses, and now we're gonna go ahead and head to the mask store for this outfit. After you get to the mask store, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to ski mask, which is on slot 19, and look for the charcoal toggle ski, which is on slot 94. Once you have found the charcoal toggle ski, your glasses and your helmet will come off, so back out of the mask store, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and look for a telescope, so we can do the telescope glitch, so we can combine the glasses with the mask and helmet. Whenever you get to a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character's mask comes off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. And whenever you do find the black bulletproof, you can walk away from the telescope and you should see that the mask does combine with your helmet just like this. So now for the glasses, just do the telescope glitch again. So run past the telescope, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character's helmet and helm your or your character's helmet and mask do come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your accessories, and scroll through your glasses until you do find the orange guns. And so once you have found the orange guns, uh, you can just walk away from the telescope. So just walk away from the telescope once you have found the orange gun glasses. And yeah, this is what your outfit will look like. The glasses should combine with the mask and helmet just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go ahead, go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it for these four outfits. I hope you guys did enjoy these four male chart outfits using clothing glitches. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.